Taste Tiders! Welcome back to another delicious episode of Taste Tidings. Today we are diving into the world of gluten-free, dairy-free and sugar-free delights. That's right, a treat that is kind to your tummy. Let's jump right into our wholesome ingredients. For our dough we will need 1.5 cups of cornstarch, 1 and a third cups of rice flour, two sticks of vegan butter or regular butter if you don't have any allergies, half cup of xylitol or any sweetener of your choice, one egg yolk, one teaspoon gluten-free baking powder. And for our apple filling, we'll need four Granny Smith and four Gala apples, measuring around four pounds, two tablespoons of xylitol, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's start by preparing our apples. Core, peel and cube them. Then place them in a large pot with your sweetener of choice and ground cinnamon. Cook over medium heat for about 15 minutes until they are soft. Set aside to cool. While our apples cool, let's make our dough. In a mixing bowl, combine cornstarch, rice flour, xylitol, baking powder, egg yolk, and vegan butter. Begin mixing until it starts to come together. If you find it challenging to mix the dough in the mixing bowl, you can transfer it to a cutting board or a clean kitchen counter surface for a bit of hand mixing. Or if you are feeling fancy and don't want to get your hands dirty, whip out that food processor and let it do the work for you. Don't worry if it seems challenging at first. It takes a bit of time. Once combined, divide the dough in half. Wrap one half and chill it for one hour in the fridge or 30 minutes in the freezer. This chilling step will make the dough easier to work with later on. Preheat your oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Press pieces of the dough into a 20 inches round baking pan. Poke holes with a fork and bake for 25 minutes. Let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Now spread the cold apple filling over the crust. It's okay if it's still warm. Grate the remaining chilled dough and sprinkle it over the apple filling without pressing down. Bake in the center of the oven for one hour. Let it cool for a couple of hours before cutting. Dust with ground xylitol or sugar of your choice before serving. And there we have it, our gluten-free, dairy-free and sugar-free Polish apple cake Charlotka. For those with allergies, rejoice! We can enjoy this delicious apple cake too. Thanks for baking along with me, Taste Tiders. If you tried this recipe, don't forget to share your creations with us using hashtag Taste Tidings. Until next time, keep spreading those Taste Tidings and happy baking!